What's going on guys? Sam with Sam's Van Tree Service. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time. I was just looking at the trucks. I'm like, dude, it should be a good idea to do a video on the trucks. Um, we're still missing one of them. Well, technically two of them. But why do a video about trucks? Well, it appeals to a broader spectrum of people. I'm friends with a lot of landscapers, lawn mowing guys, uh, excavation guys, land clearing guys, um, tree removal guys, obviously. And we're all buying trucks. We all need trucks. So what trucks are good to buy? And I'm gonna show you my best investments. And this isn't just really trucks, this is also trailers. So the best investments for me have actually been this old 1990 International. Um, over here, we have my 2017 350. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys why I like the International um, more. And it's a better investment for your company than any pickup truck will ever be. So what is this truck? This is a 1990 International 4900. This is a larger truck in the International lineup. It's not the largest though. It is a single cab with a 16 foot dump box on it. Twin telescopic hoist. Um, so it dumps really high. Um, it has the DT 466 mechanical motor. Uh, so it's an inline six turbo charge. It is a Dana five speed with a two speed rear end. So it has five gears but you can switch them from low to high so it has 10 different gear ranges um dual tanks and what makes this truck so good well first off this is a straight truck so uh this truck is class b cdl um they do make these same exact trucks with lower axle ratings so this truck empty weighs fourteen thousand pounds loaded this truck can weigh about thirty thousand pounds so the nice things about these are the large frames they're all straight framed so this is considered a straight truck so straight frames super easy to ever mount anything these boxes took me no time at all to mount um getting under there to work on stuff is super easy and when you get up to the motor and the transmission everything is very open there's not really anything covered and the whole hood opens up big I mean, you can see and get into really any nook and cranny. There's nothing complicated about working on these trucks. Um, another benefit is you could take these to truck centers and truck shops. Um, in my experience, truck centers and truck shops are way more experienced and way better uh, service and uh, turnaround time. You pay a little bit more. Don't get me wrong. When this truck breaks and it goes to a shop, I mean, I could be paying $1,000 pretty much minimum. Uh, my truck shop has been very fair. Um, it could be something simple as a wheel bearing and that's like 450 bucks, 500 bucks. Um, they do full services on it. The interior is very simple. And something like this on, I mean, this is an older truck and you're like, man, you don't want the old, you want the old one. Cause guess what? There's not a computer on this truck for anything. This is a mechanical motor. So what does that mean? To even shut the truck off, you have this lever you pull it and it's a cable that goes to the fuel pump and shuts the fuel pump off there are no computers there's no nonsense on this truck everything is repairable with like a crescent wrench basically and what does that mean that means you're going to get by very very well you're not going to have much downtime with these trucks they're also built to work i mean you got these big tires big rims uh my frame is a double frame so it doesn't twist or bend as much and they're just super simple to work on um parts are still heavily available for these trucks um it's 1990 I mean, this truck's 32 years old but it, you could get every part you need for it they're they have a cult following and every truck shop and truck center has parts for them now when you get into something like this this truck was a bad business decision. It really was. Um, what do I mean by that, Sam? What do you mean a bad business decision? Business-wise, this truck has much more profit, more return on investment, and makes me a lot more money than this truck really ever will. Um, now, personally, this truck is a great investment for me. I need a big pickup truck. I, I it, it, it saves me headache. It makes my life easier but it does not make me as much money as a truck like this will. Um, the only controversy you can say is, well, you could tow a gooseneck with this, not this. You technically could tow a gooseneck with this and you need to buy another separate gooseneck trailer for it. It's a, it's a weird thing. But, so, I mean, if you look under the hood of this thing, 
you can't yeah man working on this thing's a pain i had to change a filter out buried in there it took me about an hour it's a pain um you gotta take this to a dealer for the most part especially if you have a warranty which i do so i take this to the dealer um you know a truck like this can cost you anywhere from 10 to twenty thousand dollars a truck like this could cost you anywhere from 50 to a hundred thousand dollars depending on what you get so now yeah i i love these internationals i have a freightliner similar to it but it is a bucket truck the freightliner is the same thing freightliner is a little bit fancier than international um it's a little bit nicer but it's not as stupid simple as this the freightliner has a computer and fuse boxes and this and that this has like not much i mean this has a fuse box but this fuse box is like 20 fuses the freightliner is like 100 so um this doesn't even have ac or anything just heat so that's what i like now let's go over these trailers real quick hurry up this video so these trailers this is a great investment for my company i got bashed actually some dude came up to me and he said your trailer's stupid you're an idiot why'd you buy this this is a 16 foot dump heavy duty sides and gauge and seven gauge and all this fanciness and then i have a six foot platform we've seen this i've gone over this this trailer for a big tree service with lots of drivers this trailer doesn't really make much sense i'm not gonna lie but for a small company like me with two to three guys and only two drivers or sometimes three drivers this is amazing because guess what i only need two drivers um to do tree work i have the ditch switch on here and or in there wherever you want and that's being pulled by on a pickup truck or a bucket truck and then i have the chip truck pulling the chipper you literally don't need anything else um to do tree work and make money um you can always throw a stump grinder up here and put the ditch switch in the back so this is a really good investment this was an expensive trailer um but if you're limited on guys uh combo trailers can definitely save your butt and they can make you a lot of money all we've ever done was that truck that chipper my f-250 this dump trailer then i got my f-350 and this dump trailer with my 250 you cannot load the ditch switch on the front it was too much tongue weight that's the only downside with this specific trailer is they didn't put the axles up far enough and they didn't spread them enough if they spread them axles and put them up another foot or so this trailer would be absolutely perfect but it is very tongue heavy even for the 350. then we have the goose neck this goose neck i picked it up for a good deal um you see how the axles are spread out compared to this one was this is great this allows us to haul mats um when we were smaller we didn't have to work in bad conditions we could just wait it out because i only had one guy um now that we have two three guys they need to work i need to work i need to keep them busy we need to use mats we use mats almost on every job now especially in this season so i have 32 mats i think on here with the forks with the ditch which we're looking at stump grinders um, i'm about to buy one i think um just waiting on some paperwork to get done but then we'll put the stump grinder on the back and this will be our equipment trailer really uh the 350 is the only one that can tow this as of now uh the gooseneck is nice because it's it, it, it's your equipment trailer we also throw logs up here we can put the ditch switch on the back 10 and strap it down there we could haul 16 foot of logs honestly with these mats and the ditch which i think the dump trailer holds the same amount of logs as this does with the ditch which if you take the ditch which off and you can unload it without the ditch which then yeah but the goosenecks are very nice a big flatbed trailer does help um it allows us to rent equipment we're doing a small land clearing job we're doing two small land clearing jobs i'm able to rent an excavator and a, a um, um, forestry mulcher all at once so this opens up new avenues but if i had to do it simple and stupid the combo dump chip truck pickup truck and chipper that's all you need with a mini skid you guys make plenty of money or you use a bucket truck to pull it so that's just my little uh, equipment review guys like pickup trucks are nice don't get me wrong and i'm very glad i was able to hustle my ass off and buy a pickup truck like this and it you know it's sweet and all but at the end of the day it does not make me it it, it um directly does not make me money um as much money i mean i have all my climbing gear in there and we use it to pull the trailers but it's something if i was strictly business and i didn't need a pickup truck 100 i'd get like a 4500 chevy dump truck or a small well i wouldn't the chevy dump trucks are straight trucks 
but I wouldn't even waste my time with a pickup truck for work. They're a pain to work on, they're expensive to work on, they take time to work on. The service you're gonna get from mechanics is nothing compared to what you'll get with big truck. And you know, it, it's not just the mechanics fault really. Um, big trucks are just made simple from the manufacturer compared to um, pickup trucks. So I'm not bashing the mechanics by any means, but I think working on big trucks is easier and the mechanics have a faster turnaround time with them. So that's my opinion on those. I really won't ever buy a pickup truck other than for me. Maybe if I get big enough, I'll buy foreman trucks, but that's, that's down the line. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video kind of shows you some insight on my thought process on tree service equipment. Um, another thing before we end this, always buy something bigger than what you need always if you're aggressive like i am and you're trying to grow your company buy it bigger um this truck's perfect for us we want a bigger one still though because here's the thing the box holds the perfect amount of chips for me we're at like 39 yards on this truck um it doesn't quite look like it but i'll send you the measurements and you can calculate it yourself um but we only have a single axle that's the downside of this truck is that extra axle would hold that box down a little bit better and it gets a little tippy i mean we've never flipped it or been close to flipping it but it'd be a much better enjoyable ride if there was another axle holding it down uh this chipper is a 12 inch chipper i absolutely love this chipper bandit makes the best chipper on earth um the issue is i didn't buy a big enough one this one is big enough don't get me wrong but now that this has been paid off for a while and we're doing more work i want a bigger chipper i don't need one we use this one every day just fine i love this thing but a bigger chipper would be nicer the ditch witch i actually love that size ditch witch but when we're doing like giant oaks um where the grapple doesn't even fit around them i would like a bigger ditch witch but in reality i probably won't ever buy a bigger ditch witch i'll probably buy a full size loader before i buy the next size ditch witch personally so that's my video guys hope you guys enjoyed and saw some insight um, comment below what you'd like to see next.